Now in this video, we're going to take a moment and talk about rendering previews. Now before we start working on any image ever, after we import our images, we always render one-to-one -one previews. And we do this by going into the library menu, and you have to be in the library module to get the library menu. You're going to go down to previews, and you're going to say render one-to-one -one previews. Now you want to do it for every one of your images. So let's load up a catalog, and let's give you guys an example of what it's going to actually do when you render one-to-one -one previews. So let's choose this catalog. This is actually the catalog we're going to be using for our engagement session or our portrait session example uh, when we get to this part on the DVD. Now, what we would do is basically go into a grid view, and you can either have just all the images deselected or have it all selected either way. But you can go to the library module, a uh, library menu, and then you're going to go to previews and say render one to one previews. It's going to say, do you want to build just the one that's selected? No, we don't. We want to build all of them. So you're going to click build all and then Lightroom is going to go ahead and it's going to scan everything and it's going to begin rendering all of the one-to-one -one previews that it doesn't already have created. Now when you're creating a one-to-one -one preview, Lightroom is going to do three things. It's going to generate the one-to-one -one preview, the standard size preview, as well as the minimum thumbnail preview as well. So it's going to do everything at once and it's going to take a little bit of time when it's going through and rendering these previews. But what it's going to do is when you're going through and you're actually developing your images, it's going to move very quickly between image to image because it no longer has to wait to develop or to create standard size develop previews as you are working. Now some people ask, well, why don't we create uh, standard previews instead of one-to-one -one previews because one-to-one -one previews are larger and they're only necessary when zooming? Well, the reason why is this. Now, it, granted, one-to-one -one previews are only necessary when you are zooming into an image like this. But when we're in the library or when we're in the develop module, we're doing that on a fairly frequent basis to check sharpness on an image. In addition, when we render one to one previews, it's also creating the one to one, the standard and every other preview that we need anyway. So it has it all there and it's all available. There's no reason given the, the, the cheap price of hard drives that you guys wouldn't want to render one to one previews. The only reason that you, it may be an issue is because of time. As you can see right now, it's only on number 20 of 393. So if you can imagine, and I'm on a very fast computer, by the way, too, with, with solid state hard drives. You can imagine that if you have a event or a wedding or something with several thousands of images, it's going to take several hours to complete rendering these one to one previews. For a portrait session with a few hundred images, you can do this in 15, 20 minutes. And the amount of time it takes is going to depend heavily on the speed of your computer, mainly the speed of your processor, how much RAM you have, and the speed of your hard drives. So with smaller jobs like portrait sessions, those you can get done uh, as far as rendering previews within 15 minutes to 30 minutes. Just do it during your lunch break or something like that. With larger events, we're typically rendering previews overnight the night before that we need to begin editing. So if I need to begin editing tomorrow, then tonight I would begin rendering the previews on whatever job that I need to start editing tomorrow. Now one other frequent question that we get is why not actually render our previews when we're importing our images? If you notice when we bring up the import dialog box, we do have the option to render previews when we're importing. Now the problem with this is that if we're importing say off of several uh, memory cards, well when we're rendering previews, it's gonna basically render previews as it's importing those, those images. And so it's going to slow down the import process, especially when we're going off multiple cards. If we want to import and then go back to working, again, it's going to slow things down. So we typically will have render preview set to minimal when we are basically importing our images. That way it's as quick as possible when importing. And then before we need to begin developing and culling our images, we will start uh, with the one-to-one -one rendering process. And then we go through and actually work on our images. That way we get kind of maximum efficiency when it comes to importing our images and you know when it comes to working on our images. But let's say you're importing all your images off of a single source. So whether that single source be a CF card or a hard drive or whatever it is, you're importing all your images off of one place and you're going to leave your computer for several hours. And when you get back to your computer, you want to start working on the images right away. Well, then it's a good idea when you're importing to set this rendered previews to one to one. And that way, as soon as it finishes importing, it's going to render all the previews. When you get back, it's all done. And it doesn't matter because you're not switching out hard drives or CF cards to import off of multiple locations. You're doing it off of one single location. You're leaving and you're coming back uh, with plenty of time for the computer to kind of finish the entire process in the meanwhile. So that's one time kind of where we would use uh, render previews from the import dialog box. 
So just know that before we begin any work, we're always gonna make sure that our previews are rendered and ready to go.